And that's going to do it for the News at 5. CBS News Miami at 5.30 starts now. This is CBS News Miami. Breaking news to tell you about another check on breaking news out of South Miami Day Chopper 4 over the scene of a sunken boat. We are told three people were on board as the vessel started to take on water. Two of them were rushed to the hospital by air rescue as trauma alerts. No word yet on their conditions or what caused the boat to sink. CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner just got to the scene. She will have a live report coming up tonight at 6. And now at 5.30, we start with a live look outside. And boy, it was kind of chilly this morning. But that's given way to a nice, warm, sunny South Florida day. And a warm-up seems to be on the way. Yeah, in the interim, before that warm-up, though, it was mm. nothing short of fabulous. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Ivan, if only it could last forever. I, I, I was going to say, how were the temperatures in New York, right? Yeah. Oh, a little, bit, a little, bit a cool. little chilly. Yeah. A little bit cool right right here. <laughs> Welcome home. Yeah, it is uh, warm. Now, 82, I mean, it's warmer than we have in the last few days. We actually hit 84 at the airport today. Our typical high is 86, so we're getting back to where we should be for this time of year. And if you don't like it this cold this early, better news for tonight. Not going to be as cool as things will begin to warm up. And then, you know, we'll probably warm up a little bit too much for most of us here. Approaching 90 by the weekend. 80 right now in both uh, Key West and Marathon. Low 80s. I mean, this is very comfortable with still very low humidity. So no feels like temperatures. It feels like the actual uh, numbers you saw there. And not much in the way of uh, precip at all. I mean, it's even difficult to make clouds with this kind of air mass. Low humidity at the surface, low moisture here and up above as well. So we've been staying rain free. That is the latest there. By the way, yes, this is Tammy. Newly formed tropical storm. It's the same tropical system that we've been monitoring for potential development. Now it's got a name, 40 mile an hour winds. It's moving west to 23 and there are the Lesser Antilles already seeing tropical storm watches posted for the northern part of the islands as the system makes its move towards the west over the next few days and then a trough picks it up. Look at that huge uh, curve there. We like to see that. This is going to come uh, nowhere near uh, the uh, greater Antilles and also us, of course, as it moves up to the north and east. Rest of tonight looking good. Temps in the 70s. Already notice 75. This time yesterday I was showing you the planter, and by 11 we were already in the 60s. So a sign of the uh, change and the not so cool night we have on Tamford tonight. I'll be back with that and the uh, warmer seven day forecast in just a few minutes. <laughs> Okay, Ivan, thank you very much. Well, of course, mental health matters. And here at CBS News Miami, we are focused on bringing you solutions. The images that we are seeing coming out of the conflict in the Middle East can be hard to watch, and they leave an impact. And that's whether we realize it or not. Joining us now is therapist Jamila Trimble. Jamila, first off, how do images like this impact our mental health? Every girl is able to reach her fullest potential. Girls Inc. of Miami provides free after school programs for hundreds of girls in our community and it's planning to expand. If you would like to learn more, just go to our website and click on that story. I love the creativity. I really do. I'm very impressed with the fashions, too. Yes, the ne next generation of fashion designers. Mm -hmm. We need some guys to be smart, strong, and bold, <laughs> too, by the way. And hey, that's the news at 530. Here's what's <laughs> next for CBS News Miami at 6. New body cam video just in shows the most.